Star Spangled Banner. And we've got plenty more coming up. Stay tuned. It's the 2K Sports Free Game Show. What's happening, everybody? Tonight, we'll get to see the Miami Heat go up against the Nets in... Side with Craig Anthony and Brent Berry. David Aldrich will join us momentarily from the sidelines. A chance now to check out how the All-Star voting is shaping up. And I tell you, the excitement starting to ratchet up a little bit as the tallies start coming in. Take a look at Jordan. He's there in the top 10 in the Eastern Conference voting. The fans have really gotten behind him. And that's the way it should be. I mean, you could make a case that he should be a starter, but there's just so many great players in the East. Just being in the top 10 shows how much respect the fans have for him. And keep tuning in for updated results. You can visit NBA.com for more. So here's Miami's starting group. In the middle, it's Olenek and Adebayo. Filling out the wings, it's Waiters and Butler. And it's Dragic into the point. And for the Nets... They've got Joe Harris. Duran is out there with Wilson Chandler. Then there's Irving. And it's Jordan in at the center, locking down the middle. And that one is good. Halfway through the season, Brent, as a team, are you still discovering new ways to win? Yeah, I would say if you had a set of encyclopedias, when you get to around January, you should be in the MN section, Kevin. <laughs> so there, do, do people know what encyclopedias are? But I, it, I can picture okay. my mind. I know exactly what you're saying. So from that point on in the season, you, again, you have a great foundation to build on, and there's a lot of things that you can do. There are just slight wrinkles to what it is you already do and that's the great thing for coaches is to challenge the players to see how far through that encyclopedia we can go what letter can we get to in the alphabet by the end of the year beautiful transition offense there that's execution at its best yeah once you burst through a seam like that you got to look right towards the rim sweet play now here is Harris Offensive rebound, moves back up, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Jordan can't be boxed out. He's too big, and then he uses those quick feet, the athleticism to get around the basket, and he just gobbles up rebound. Well, he might be an aging veteran in the NBA, but DeAndre Jordan is still terrifying for defenders when he's going up for the alley-oop. Oh, he's such a great target still on the roll situation. You combine his length and athleticism now with the know-how and his tenure in the league, and DeAndre Jordan still can be an elite finisher on the inside. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. For Brooklyn, they have shot just one free throw earlier, one for one in the game. And he knocks down the first one. And one issue for the Heat for years now, inefficient shooting. Well, young players are learning how to defend, so you need to do that first. But if you can't go down on the offensive end and you can't find ways to dig out of holes by shooting the basketball, you get down 10 or 12 points. Defense sometimes isn't enough. They've been the bottom third in points scored for quite a while. Blinding speed there shown by Kyrie Irving on the boost. And when he puts it on the floor like that, he's getting all the way to the rim. Butler kicks to Dragic. To halt the run. Jump shot is good. The Nets have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. For three, Harris. Let's keep it alive. Here's Chandler. Lays it up off the glass. Right now, Chandler's activity is paying off. you got to put a body on him. The Heat trail by seven. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I did speak with head coach Eric Spolstra. The task of defending Kyrie Irving was foremost on his mind. He is a slippery ball handler, maybe the best in the league, 
with an array of shots and moves at every level. It has to be a team effort to try and limit his impact on the game. Kevin? Thank you, David. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. And stolen by Jordan. That's tipped. It's stolen by Dragic. Here's Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Well, there's no doubt that Dragic is a weapon in the open court. He's also a lockdown defender who could come away with crucial steals. Now, here's Durant. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Feated by the Pacers in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, tough game on the road. The, the guys you're defending are obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. And a new group out there on the floor for the Nets. Here's LaVert. And he converts the layup. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. And so here is Miami trailing by 10. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Nets. That one was played in Brooklyn. You got to give him an A for effort. Just fell a little bit short in that one. Well, it would have been really nice to get that win on the road, but no team ever happy with a loss. Put up a good fight, and they had nothing to hang their heads on after that one. And when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. That's the three fly. No good. And it's Miami the other way. 124 left here in the opening quarter. The pass to Collis. To the middle. Wants to get it to Butler and does. Good on the bucket. Butler's got his second bucket. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. Puts up a three. In Woody with the bucket. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And here's Winslow. After Spencer Dinwiddie getting his shot to go from deep. Johnson wide open. He fires. That ball's great assist by Darren Collison. Collison's got three assists in the game. Dinwiddie against Johnson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And the 6'6 point guard, Spencer Dinwiddie, second-round pick of the Detroit Pistons in 2014. You know, Greg, they might have wished they held on to him. One of the most improved players in our league. Last season, he signed that four-year, $48 million extension from the Nets, rewarding his growth. Now, here's Butler. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Indiana. Puts it up from 17, and the Heat get another bucket right there. And this is Butler's bread and butter. The mid-range J is on point. Got to DM up better than that. Now, Dinwiddie kicks it out to Allen to the right side. Up in time, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. Winslow with a stellar effort on defense there. That shot attempt was not easy. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Nets lead by four. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. Jimmy Butler, a hard worker on the floor and off the court as well. I worked extremely hard. A boombox aquarium, huh? <laughs> Points for originality, Greg. Butler, not shy, breaking from convention, beats to the rhythm of his own drum. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And uh, from Brooklyn guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Just cashing in on second-chance opportunities 
that's how they built this early lead. Working the offensive glass that sometimes comes from predictable shots from your offense, and they've been opportunistic here. On the court for Miami here in the second. Johnson and Leonard together up front. At the two and the three, it's Butler and Winslow. And it's Collison in at the point guard position. Now that play never gets old, Kevin. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for Miami. Six-point game. Next up for them, the Knicks, a road game in New York. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Now here's Collison. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Dinwiddie against Collison. Oh, and here comes Johnson all alone. The shot's good. Johnson's got five. Huge running with purpose right there in the open court situation. Johnson opportunistic on the break. Dinwiddie dishes to Prince. Back to Dinwiddie. Fires for three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Wow, he doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. Passes to Leonard. Outside Butler. Heat moving the ball around. Leonard against Allen. Six on the shot clock. The Heat need to get a shot off. Winslow, and again, Miami with the triple. Good timing from Winslow. He measured up that shot before the ball even got to him. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Three-pointer, Lavert hands it from downtown. Lavert's got his second bucket tonight. And great job from beyond the arc this quarter. They are now shooting the three at almost 60% for the game. Talent coming from everywhere these days, Brent, including the developmental league. The G League has done a wonderful job of watching players develop there and then vaulting them up to the big league. And I think last year, Kevin, the numbers were that more than half the players in the NBA had spent some time in the G League. You want to talk about that league what coming impact. along with what Massive. Yes. And what you're seeing, too, over the past few years, Kevin, is people doing a great job of time using out, the out. G League a lot better. Not just experimenting Sorry. and lab ratting what that team is about, but really well thought out player development and stints for guys on their team rather than just practicing and traveling and sitting and watching games. You're watching guys go play a, a game in the afternoon and then coming up to the NBA level and participating in an NBA game that night. Uh, well, that's going to go a long way to make guys in the early part of their career uh, take the necessary strides in a lot quicker than they normally do. This two-way contract has been a wonderful addition. Except if you talk to their agents, Kevin. Yes, it's been, it's been very good for the control of an organization to find that kind of talent. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Waiters surveying the D. Irving against Dragic. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got rebound number five here tonight. There he goes! You don't want to be jumping on a play like that. No. Wow, he was up there, <laughs> Kevin. Hey, Kevin, could you add that one to Durant's ongoing highlight reel? Thank you very much. Rogic finds Waiter. Over Harris. Again, the miss by the Heat. That's leading by nine. Here's Irving. The feed to Chandler. Stolen by Winslow. Over Harris. Winslow shot is off. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Here's Durant in the air. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. How about the charisma of KD that time? Teammates loving what he's bringing to the table here tonight. Brooklyn shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. The first free throw is good. Durant nails both of them. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Agic against Chandler. It's Trogic with the drive. 
And the veteran Goran Dragic still producing late in his career. Not the force he once was, but always a source of playmaking and scoring. And Goran Dragic drops them both. And while Dragic doesn't get to the free throw line all that often, when he does, he's usually pretty good. Irving looking for an opening. And the dunk by Jordan. Uh, that's where they look to him most. DeAndre Jordan with arms that go on for days. Just toss that ball anywhere, and he knows what to do with it. The Heat trail by 11. Well, you look at the career of Dragic. Greg, he's always been a scoring point guard. Yeah, and as Dragic has aged, he has learned to lean more and more on his outside shot. Even when his first step and speed start to falter, he'll find ways to put up points. And, and with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Still struggling to find some consistency as an offensive player, but Waiters does get to the free throw line a fair amount for a guy who shoots so many threes. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. And Olenek kicks to Winslow from downtown. No good from Trogic. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Pass to Autobio. Pass to Waiters. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Waiters got his second basket. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I, I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. No good from Irving. And here's Dragic. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Trailing by 13. Waiters passes to Olenek. Brooklyn with the rebound. Jordan's got six rebounds in the game. It's stolen by Dragic. Oh, he's going up for the alley-oop here. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. Their transition game. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, Beth. Brooklyn found themselves in a close game in the first. At the end of the period, they held a four-point lead. The second quarter got a lot more exciting for them as they were putting up big numbers and find themselves way out in front here at the half. Let's start with you, Shaq. What would you think about the Nets? Well, they really dictated the pace of the game with their transition game. They got out on the break every chance they had, and the time they could push the tempo, they did. And a lot of times, it kept the defense scrambling like eggs with the cheese and apple juice. Kenny, what would you think about Miami? Well, they're giving up too many high percentage looks, Ernie. They're not closing down the lane, and they're not going hard on the perimeter. That will get an L in any book. And that'll about. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him, really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Fueled Up for the second half. Setting the floor for the Nets. We've got Irving, Wilson Chandler out there with Jordan. Then there's Harris. And it's Durant in at the three slot. Irving against Dragic. Over Irving. Got that one, and the Nets' lead has been cut down to 11 on the bucket from Dragic. Got to respect the mid-range play of Goran Dragic right there. The left-handed point guard strokes it well. Here's Durant. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. Let's see what the Brooklyn Nets have coming up. On Sunday, it'll be the Atlanta Hawks coming into town. Then on Tuesday, 
They'll be matching up against Mike Conley and the Utah Jazz. And that matchup against the Bucks, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. And after defending on the shot, he doesn't give up on the play. Follow that straight to the glass for the rebound. Pops it up for Jordan. Yeah, put some students in the classroom because that's exactly how you move the ball. Kyrie terrific at spotting the open man, and then you got to get it to him. The Heat trail by 13. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Rogic dishes to Waiters. Butler feeling out of it. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. And it's so easy to admire Jimmy Butler. I mean, creative at making the D hit him there on the way up. So for the Nets, Torian Prince, he's checked in for Chandler. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Kyrie Irving. The Heat also changing it up. Myers Leonard, he's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Johnson comes in for Kelly Olynyk, And it's Collison in for Goran Dragic. That's where Durant is making a living right now. A sensational jump shooter and a deadly release. Outside Leonard and Waiters has it in the corner. Over Harris. And that one hits back iron. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Dinwiddie finds Prince. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Outside, KD. Out to Harris. Butler against Dinwiddie. Left side, Jordan. Shot clock at five. For three, Harris. Shot clock reset for the Nets. Dinwiddie against Waiters. Here's Jordan. Back to Dinwiddie. Jacks up a three. Kept alive. And there's the foul. And it's on Torian Prince. That's his first foul. Karis LeVert checked in for Brooklyn. The Heat trail by 14. Collison looking around. Johnson outside. Takes a three. Again, the miss by the Heat. Brooklyn's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Dinwiddie kicks to Prince. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got his third assist on the night. Replay angles are interesting, Brent. Instant feedback on social media. Talk about the increased pressure now on referees to get every call right. So, so many times, Kevin, on nights where you're working games, you sit there for a minute and a minute and a half. In super slow motion looking at the play. And, and still sometimes hard to get it right. Very hard. What I think the league should think about doing with the competition committee is every team in the league should have three and four cameras that are mounted so that Every time there's a replay at any given arena, they have access to the same angle. For where, every game. Every game. Where are most of the times these calls being missed? Where are these calls getting wrong? And how is it that we can implement some technology to help us not only get it right more often, which is the most important thing, but also fair and balanced vision for the referees to have an opportunity to do so. What an excellent idea. And the Nets making a change here. Allen's checked in. Heat also with a sub. Winslow's checked in for Deion Waiters. Winslow, the pass to Leonard. Miami no good on that time either. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's Dinwiddie. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Clearly a foul. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Kyrie Irving, he's checked in for Jordan. Collison kicks to Winslow. Dishes it to Butler. They could use a bucket, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It goes on Spencer Dinwiddie. 
and just no question that Butler is a bona fide star. I mean, a tough, rugged defender who's also a juggernaut on offense. And some changes here for the Heat. Bam Adebayo's checked in for Leonard. Olenna comes in for Johnson. And it's Drogic in for Darren Collison. Irving attacking, lobbed up there for Allen. And what an alley you Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. The Heat trail by 19. Now here's Drogic. He has six. He dishes it to Winslow. Kicks it to Butler. Five to shoot. Pulls up. Offensive rebound. Here's Adebayo. Can't connect from short range. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. A shot's good from Irving. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. And here is Butler. He's got nine. The pass to Olenek. Looking for Winslow. He gets it there. And they double up Butler from deep three-point range. Here's Olenek off target. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Here's Irving. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth. The backcourt, Dragic and Butler. In the middle, it's Olinick and Adebayo. And it's Winslow in at the three spot. Back to Chandler. It's Adebayo with the rebound. Adebayo's got his fourth rebound in this one. Chandler attacking, and he banks in the layup. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And Miami has possession. Dragic looking for an opening. Passes it to Winslow. He kicks to Olenek. Lock at six. The tray. And Goran Dragic hits from deep. Just can't leave Goran Dragic open from the three-point line. He loves getting free from beyond the arc and letting it fly. Irving against Dragic. Irving passes to Allen. The kick out to Irving. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Kyrie exceptional at taking the hit and then somehow creating a release angle towards the rim. The Nets making a switch here. Durant's checked in. And Miami with a change here, too. Waiters has checked in. Brent, we have seen some international showcase games the last few years. Do you like that trend? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I like the fact that our league, we, we know how global it is with uh, how many players from different countries are represented throughout uh, the rosters around the league. But for our game to travel around to London and to Mexico City and, and have an opportunity for those fans to see what NBA basketball is like, I think it's an absolute win. I'd like NBA. to see more. Well, more time for those teams. They, yes. The timing of some of those trips for some teams <laughs> are, are a little bit tough in terms shit. of the travel, but their appearances there mean so much more to grow the game globally. Irving against Dragic. The dish to Winslow. And Durant sends it back. The long arm of the law. Durant is not a premier shot blocker, but you wouldn't know it from that play. And that's how you do it. Impressive play, explosive finish. Yeah, sweet finishes like that. You see everybody get up. Look at the guys on the bench. They're fired up. 
Dragic against Irving. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, you watch Goran Dragic play, and then he's so deceptive with his movement, both on and off the ball. Yeah, I think one of the reasons why, Kevin, is the change of speeds. I also add the fact that guys who can handle the ball and are crafty and are left-handed, boy, it's tough on a nightly basis to change up your mindset to guard a guy who you know is going to go left all the time as opposed to right. Trust me, in practice, I had to do that with Manu Ginobili a ton of time in San Antonio. Dragic similar. Great use of speed change. Brooklyn's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Here's Temple, defended by Jones. Temple can't get it to go. You get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. The Heat making a switch here. Nuns checked in. Now off the inbound, and the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. And one of the reasons why they're struggling and trailing right now is they have been reluctant to create any low-post offense here in the second half. And a new group in for the Nets. Wilson Chandler's checked in for David Nwaba. Kevin Durant comes in for Rodion's Kurooks. Dinwiddie's checked in for Musa. And it's Kyrie Irving in for Garrett Temple. Free throw drops for Leonard. Derek Jones gets talked about a lot in terms of his dunking prowess and the way that he can get up in the air and maybe make a poster and a memory in the flash of an eye. But beyond the dunks, he's done a good job of really improving his game since coming into the league in 2016. Haters no luck. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up and you can't knock it down. Could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Olenek. Hey, Brent, for Derek Jones, he saw the floor a good amount in his first full season with the Miami Heat. Derek Jones is somebody that the Miami Heat continue to explore, and I guess if you're within that organization in Miami for a number of seasons, they like something about your competitive spirit, and that's where Derek Jones has probably found a home here in Miami. And the basket by Olenek. And really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. Harris looking it over. Knocks down the three ball. Harris has got five points now this quarter. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Butler on the wing. Defended by Durant. Olenek has the open look. Off target from outside. For Brooklyn, they've gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Brooklyn. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And so taking a look at their season record, this will be win number 31 on the year. And, and they've taken control of the season series. This brings them to 2-0 and oh with one game left against this squad. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Jordan. I like his aggressiveness here tonight, especially on the glass. He was not messing around. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. David Nwaba is checked in for Chandler. Temple comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Musa in for Joe Harris. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Sweet little floater. Well, at this point, they're just trying to get back in sync. You, you want to play a good brand of basketball. The consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. To the inside, here's Leonard. 
Count it. And still trying to polish this side of his game up. Leonard looking very comfortable on that move. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. With the teardrop, Irving, good. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. A huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. Stolen away. None passes to Jones. Poke loose. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate. Just, David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long.